Sunday of Lent, we had the privilege of coming to the Lord's table. Uh, as I have uh, shared with you almost every time that we come to His table, uh, this is God's table. It's not. It's not a South Main table. It's not a Methodist table. God's table. And, and whoever Jesus would welcome to the table, we welcome to the table. Uh, this is not a thing where, okay, I've got to get my life right before I can go to the table. No, you go to the table to get your life right. Don't get the cart, cart before the horse kind of thing, right? So uh, no one's pressured to come to the table, but you, everyone is invited to come to the table. And we come here and we partake of these very simple elements Bread, bread uh, baked at Publix, okay. <laughs> and Welch's grape juice. Uh, you know, it's, it's still a part of many Christian traditions to, to drink wine, to use wine in Holy Communion. And up until the mid-1800s, even Methodists, or late 1800s, actually Methodists used wine as well. But um, alcoholism was running rampant in the country. And uh, so in order that communion could be enjoyed by even those who struggle with addiction to alcohol, it was a Methodist minister whose last name was Welch <laughs> that developed the ability to let juice not ferment. I don't know how they do it, but preserve it without it fermenting. So thank Reverend Welch today. Uh, <laughs> As we have non-alcoholic uh, uh, Jewish wine here uh, today. Uh, let us give thanks for these elements. We thank you, O oh God, for your broken body, the body that was broken upon the cross, the body of Jesus he so willingly gave in order that we might have life. And for the shed blood, which is the, what cleanse us, cleanses us of our sins makes us pure and spotless in your sight. For these gifts, we give you thanks. In the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The body of Christ broken by the sin of all the world, including your sin and my sin. But in that body we are made whole. blood of Christ which was shed upon a cross for the forgiveness of our sins says the scripture and as Jesus shared this cup with his disciples he told them drink it drink it for in this this cup is the blood of a new covenant poured out for you for many for the forgiveness of sins always do this in remembrance of me so today uh I will be here with bread. I will uh, pinch off a piece of bread and hand it to you. If you would come with your hands made like a cross, like this, I'll place the bread in the palm of your hand and you partake of the bread. Uh, Maria will be standing here with the tray with the cups. Uh, and you can take a, a cup of juice and drink the juice and then put the empty cup, if you would like, in the basket there with the, uh, with the paper towel. Uh, is. Uh, the way we do it is we start with this section over here. You get up, you come out to the aisle, circle around, receive, go back that way to your seat. Center section goes next, you get up, go out this way, receive, circle around, go back into your seat. Then the four of you over here, I think you got it, but you know, you come out this way, go back that way, circle around, and receive. 
Uh, this, is a, this is a time of worship and re reflection for all of us. So we ask that uh, you remain in a very prayerful attitude until everyone, until we've completed uh, communion, everyone receiving communion. Uh, we're going to sing today. Uh, right, Jean? Yeah. This is your, this is your idea. <laughs> you got a sheet there with some, uh, some, some words of songs that probably should be familiar to you. If not, uh, uh, Jean's going to stand up here, right? Sure. And uh, kind of lead you from over there uh, in the singing of these as we, uh, as we partake. You know. <coughs> Thank you. 
you all so much. It's always a special time when we get to share communion together. Uh, I hope you'll stick around for lunch today. Uh, we are our friends from Boulevard Baptist are here, right? Yes. And any special instructions about lunch today? Grab a plate and have a seat. Grab a plate and have a seat. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, throughout our week, we'll be here at uh, lunch. Uh, so come at 11.15. We have a little devotional time down in the fellowship hall, uh, followed by lunch uh, each of those days. Uh, I've got to remind myself. <coughs> oh, uh, don't forget about Bible study on Thursday at 10 o'clock. Uh, and uh, we are going to be blessed in a couple of weeks. The Anderson University Women's Choir are going to be here uh, under Dee Dee's leadership, and uh, we'll be doing a mini concert during our morning worship. So put that on your calendar. Next Sunday, uh, what happens? Daylight savings time. Daylight savings time. Time going to change. You're going to lose an hour of sleep. Oh. <laughs> so don't forget to set the clock up Saturday night or you'll be here and we'll be gone by the time you get here. Okay? <laughs> uh, unless I can do it. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, any other announcements? Do you have any announcements? Nancy. Oh, yeah. Don't, I, don't, I announced this last week, but... Um, our South Main family member, Nancy Crouch, uh, her address is in the, the bottom of the bulletin there. Uh, we've shared with you that Nancy's had to spend a few months over in Georgia in a women's facility, uh, and she would love, we've talked to her on the phone about three times, so she would love to get um, letters and cards, and so if you want to send something to her, uh, the address is in there. I have cards. You know, we have that card rack. Right. right. So if you want cards, just see me. I want to know how much, but you know, get cards. And also, can I give another note? Uh -huh. Um, 22 years ago today, you said that. 22 years ago today, Jean was diagnosed with colon cancer. And uh, it, was a, it was a hard day, but God is good. 22 years now, cancer free. So, so this is March. This is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. It's where I'm having to tell to myself because it's time for me to do mine again. You know, drink the stuff. And, uh, uh, but uh, I think colonoscopies are pretty much open to anybody. Is that oh, yeah. true? Even if you don't have insurance, will they give you a colonoscopy? I think so. Okay, but uh, if you're of that age, I just read something yesterday. You know, it used to be 50 and above. Now we're saying 45 and above. You should be getting your. Uh, but there's a whole new generation of people getting colon cancer that are much younger. And then one other thing, and then I'll be quiet. Uh -huh. What you told me this morning about what to do with communion. Uh -huh. I would like you to tell everybody. So I've been uh, theologically debating about including our church member here on the front pew in communion. Uh, and uh, someone reminded me this week that uh, those of us who practice communion the way we do, uh, believing that Jesus is present in the bread and in the cup, uh, have, been, have been, always been told you don't throw the communion away at the end. You don't put it in the trash. If you got juice left, you take it outside, you pour it into the ground. And if you've got bread left, you take it outside and offer it to the animals. It's the appropriate way to dispense. Or I guess if you give it to hungry, I think giving it to somebody that's hungry is an okay way to, to dispense the bread too. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that solved my problem about whether Joseph could take communion or not. <laughs> God loves Joseph like he loves all of us. All creatures. Alright, so I know there's birthdays today. Come on up here, Grandma and Grandpa. Is anybody else got a birthday this week? I know another
another, okay. Yes, I know his mother. This is JW. Uh, Y'all know JW, right? This is JW Hyatt. John Wayne. James, James Wayne. Not John Wayne. That's a cowboy, right? You might be a cowboy. Look at your birthday boy there. And he's got his grandma and grandpa here today. There's one set of grandma and grandpa's. And his mom and daddy and his whole family. His whole, and his whole family. And he is one happy guy. Okay, now, so I know there's that birthday. There's another birthday, at least one more t this week. And that is my mama. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm going to ask if she would join me up here. She might not hear. Can you join me up here? What? Come on up here. Now, <laughs> Jay Grandma. I'm happy to be here and make some meaning for us. Yeah. <laughs> JW is turning one today, right? My mama's turning. Don't tell how many are. <laughs> 86. 86 this week. Oh, no. what? Anybody else got a birthday? Patricia. Patricia. Patricia, what day is your birthday? What? My son's day. Her son was the seventh. Her son was the seventh. Okay. All right. Anybody else got a birthday? I got one. We'll get you on the twentieth. All right. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's sing a round of Thank you.